You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Hello, fresh off the plane. Cheers. From the down under. Mmm. And not even, uh, not even hung over. Like, exhausted, if anything. I, I think it was 20, I think, but at this point, 28 hours. With the, From airport to airport. It's time zone now, but it's day zone when you get. So I had to fly, get up at 6 in the morning to get a 9 a.m. flight in Melbourne to go to Sydney to have a four-hour layover. Oh. To get on the 13-hour flight. That, I didn't even consider and, that. And then a five-and-a-half-hour layover. So, okay, yeah. But fucking Australia... It's like the UK, even the Sky Clubs. Oh, could I get a double vodka, double and soda? Like a vodka soda. They don't have juice over there. Oh, come on. They've got juice. They don't have mixers. Oh. They don't have cranberry or grapefruit. That's what you, a vodka soda, splash of apple? No. Orange, if that's my other choice, yes. That's your choices. I'm sure well, I mean, if you went to a store, you could find mango or passion <laughs> fruit. Fuck you. I might a little dragon fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 why, why, was, why apple juice? I don't know. That's a thing. No, it's a thing. Do you, they do have the worst parts of the UK over there. That's a UK thing, dude. Cranberry juice. What? Isn't that how that started? You don't have kidneys? They took the worst parts of the UK and put it in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Australia. Uh, the only thing that I had to bitch about that I didn't, because it was the only thing, there's sushi, and this goes for the UK too. It's pretty much, if you hate it in Australia, it's in the UK, but it's the least of your worries in the UK. Yeah. Uh, fucking sushi. Uh, they have salmon, and that's pretty much it for raw fish, which is what sushi is. It's fucking raw fish. They have more fried chicken sushi options Oh, like the like when you go get uh, sushi at the border in Mexico, and it's uh, Philadelphia cream cheese and uh, panko crusted and everything. Yeah, they, they, very little they fish. Have deep fried, like yeah, fish. They have deep fried. They have <laughs> salmon is the only authentic. That's yeah. raw. Yeah, nigiri style. They have tuna. That's Subway. They got it from the Subway next door. It's fucking tuna salad, cooked canned tuna with mayonnaise. Yeah. In a roll. Fuck you. Yeah, that's... Fuck you so very much. So what did you eat? Uh, Subway tuna fish sandwiches? I didn't eat a lot, and it's weird because I, I didn't smoke, which you probably know this. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I had a fucking lung problem when I got there. <laughs> Worse than the one that you've been listening to for the last several years. Uh, I, I haven't smoked in 18 days, and I haven't started like eating. Like Usually after about day four... Uh, then I go, oh, I'm eating everything in my face. But, of, of quitting. Yeah. Smoking. Yeah, but I, I didn't over there because everything is yeah. pretty terrible. Uh, and, you know, when you're anxious about shows and you're more anxious because you know, I don't quit smoking like the day before tour starts. <laughs> like it was the day before. Okay. I am I, I'm waking myself up at night with my wheezing and gurgling, and I can't stop coughing. The, at least the first two shows, probably three, it, it got better. But like the second show in Brisbane, I a guy like came to the stage on his way to the men's room and put his asthma inhaler on the <laughs> stool. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> yeah. But it feels like an elephant is sitting on my chest. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Like scary bad. So. You get over there. I know we had, we had a, a show that was added last minute, wasn't it? Well, yeah, the first the, the show. The first show was, wasn't added last minute. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it was, was announced. As far as, yeah, it was it, announced. Oh, it went out to the mailing list oh my before God, everyone what else. What a fucking horror show. <laughs> the way we talk about never again shows, the, this would have never been. Like this if, was the one that you recorded on stage, your acceptance speech for, and we'll get to no, it later. No, no, that was the second one. That, that was, was the, second the one. Brisbane okay. one. That was the so what was the, I don't one. know about the first one. The, yeah, this was a, like, a, okay, here's a, like a, whatever, 80-seater for him to work out his shit the <clears throat> night before the official tour kicks off. And uh, I went in and went, I, like, if I could walk out on this gig and just say no. 
I've had it's enough. Like Uncle. Upstairs, <laughs> there's no green room. There's no backstage. It's like an upstairs box above a bar that only serves beer. But w- whatever. The point is, it's like where you'd go to. I think the opening thing I said was um, even a middling karaoke person would come up and go, not here, not here. <laughs> And this fucking, you're standing on uh, the equivalent of a banquet table. Mm-hmm. You have one bright spotlight in your face where you can literally see nothing. It was the equivalent of doing comedy to a cop that's shining his mag light in your face when you're drunk driving. License and registration. Yeah, and that's all you can see is the light. And you're standing on the equivalent space of a fold out banquet table, yeah. but it's black. Oh, and so you can't see like if you step off it, you go down two feet either way. So you can't move comfortably other than a box step, sure, a, a, a small fox trot, like box a shuffle step in a dance club that's already full to the brim, where you have to make a short box step. It was like that, and you can't see anything, and people are talking to you, and you can't literally can't see anyone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was the first one. That sucked. But that was kind of just a warm up, shake off the jet lag, right? Yeah, it didn't do it. It, it added jet lag. I mean, lag. They, they still paid full price. <laughs> yeah, I have no I Don't ever yeah. ask what they're paying. That would just be another burden on your fucking head. Of like, oh my God, how much are they getting? <laughs> we got through it. Great. Yeah, yeah. so, so. Yeah. I know you, you went from um, Brisbane, which was the second night. And then uh, you were, I was, I was in Austin at the time. You flew from Brisbane to Perth and it was a two hour time difference. Three. I think it's three. I think it was two, but it, uh, three, you're right. Yeah. And it's, it's the same. It was, Cause it's a five and a half hour flight going that way. It's LA to New York and we're flying Virgin Australia where Virgin Airlines used to be like the, when this is back. I remember it was Branson. Sir Richard yeah, Branson. Yeah, Richard Branson was the original Elon Musk. He was doing flights to the fucking moon and he's doing all this crazy stuff and breaking, you know, uh, I'm going to win sale and break a record. And also, I'm going to open up an airline and a record label. And he was, yeah, he was the original Elon Musk. Hopefully, your Tesla doesn't look as bad as a fucking virgin. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> plane. Yeah, we, uh, they have a thing that what you, where you can bid to bump up to first. So like, to highest bidder? Yeah, you're like, okay, this is... Get silent, so, on, like so a blind auction. Alex was our tour manager over there, and uh, he's like, I think if we bid just above the minimum, um, probably people bid the absolute minimum, 150 bucks yeah. or whatever, depending on the flight. It's like we, eBay. We bid 100, uh, 10 bucks over, so we were doing that and winning. But so we're... First class, which is only eight seats. And I'm like, do you have a... Wait. That's a commuter plane out here. That's a yeah, it Sky is. West. But this is, yeah, this is cross country. Five and a half hours. Yeah. There's no TVs. And I go, is there a USB port? I could uh, charge my phone. Not in this old bed. <laughs> that was the, yeah. the flight attendant? Yeah, what I was ha- her name? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> was she smoking through we, her uh, we didn't- tracheotomy hole? But conversely, on a short trip, even like this, Melbourne to Sydney, which is LAX to Tucson, yeah, on Virgin, you're still getting a full choice of meal, sandwich for lunch, and yeah, for an hour flight. Yeah, for like, oh, careful, the plate is hot, and it's it's a Cajun chicken sandwich, and with stuff. I'm like, I barely have time to eat this. Yeah, but and three drinks. They give you a pre-flight drink, sparkling wine or water, mm. and then a regular cocktail. And would you like another before we land? So, fuck a USB port. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying that the airlines, that the, 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 what used to they they just had a cool like lighting element to them, and now it's Virgin. It was a like a kind of like the remember Jet Blue came out, and then they were like kind of the U.S. version of I think the Jet of the Virgin. But, I mean, Branson sold that property a long time ago. He sold some of them. I had to go, because when I realized how much like Elon Musk he, he was mm-hmm. with the fucking going to Mars or going to space. And I think he was going up into the upper atmosphere. Yeah, the he balloon did. Or something. He, he actually did, I think, uh, 
a, a passenger flight. Like, I think people actually went to lower outer space mm. or whatever. I, I looked it up. I don't know. I fucking, I want to hear about you. I'm, I'm, you guys. I just went to Delta Sky Club. And both of the bartenders, the ladies there, Isabel and uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the other we ones. met Isabel last time we were there. Yeah, yeah. And we had just seen her for Super Bowl three weeks ago today. And uh, but the other one, I can't remember her name. But she, she's like, "Where's your partner?" And I, I don't know if she's talking about you Me. or Hannigan or <laughs> yeah. like I, 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 I'm there with a lot of people. She goes, you know, the lady. Oh, blue hair. Yeah, bingo. Yeah, she's not on this one, but she goes, "Oh, we love her." So. Right. Oh, yeah, please hold. Yeah, and I forgot. Oh, that's right. You were just there for the Yeah. We the got we got Academy out. Awards. What was it called? Something like Some that, awards. Yeah. 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 The uh Hollywood Independent Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival. And we yes. were, we were in town just just barely enough time to do that. And it was pouring rain. The whole fucking time we were there that day. Well, th- so. and you got lucky because if uh, a, a higher elevation, it would have been a snowstorm oh, in been, LA. Yeah, it would have been horrible. But it was great. We, right, we, so. uh, we, uh, what, what, what do you want to hear about? I want to hear about it. All right, I'll wait on this. I'm getting my reading glasses yeah. to look at this. I'm so fucking angry. I wasn't there for this. I know, man. Like, I, I can, like, if I canceled Australia, all right, yeah, it would have been a huge financial hit. It would have been a stupid idea, but I'm never going to win a fucking award f- for a movie that I starred in again. Well, but I was happy you were there. It was great being there. Um, it was a little weird because, you know, I, I thought Bingo was going to be out of control drunk and she wasn't. She really maintained it. It was really good. I mean, because yeah. I think she felt there was a little pressure too because everyone was really ecstatic about the placement and everything that was going on. But at the same time, they, they wanted you to be there. You could tell they, I, it would have been worse if none of us were there. Cause it would have just been, they, you know, they won or someone accepted for them and stuff like that. But this was, you know, this was a big deal yeah. for the people. There, there were a lot of movies that won, you know, won awards where people came up and, and accepted them. This was a thing. I mean, this independent film is a huge thing. And they're very uh, insular in that they all work really fucking hard, like we saw. And then we, I don't know. It was just, I saw, it was, I saw it was pictures a, it was of great that, that, crew, like yes. both the Eric's were Eric's there. Were there. Like, God damn it. Like, yeah. God, fuck. I'm glad I wasn't there because I probably would have said something really stupid and try to make it more about me than. I, I really fucked up because I, I should have just recorded because they said, hey, we got before we start, we'll let you know Regal Cinemas uh, has a policy. There's no recording of any kind in here because we were just basically in a theater, yeah. right? And, and, and the, everything was down at the base of the screen. And uh, the two hosts would, uh, would, would rattle off everything and you just go through it. And they did it relatively fast. We were in there a very long time, but everyone wanted their spot, you know? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to. I want, I want to follow the rules. I should have just fucking put my camera in my yeah, coat yeah. or something, but I didn't do it. Because your fucking acceptance speech got the fucking greatest laughs. But that's recorded. Oh, I, I don't hear I, the laughs. You didn't yeah. hear the laughs. And then someone told me they had it, and then it turns out they turned it off when they meant to turn it on. And I do have <laughs> Bingo's um, acceptance speech, and maybe we'll put that in here. But it was, it was pretty funny. Um Bingo. She was nervous and she didn't know she was going to have to do it until right before we walked in there. So. All right. For the listener, uh, just catching up, because we did tell you that I, I won Best Actor and Greg Liana won Best Director. That was announced. That's been on a podcast. Yes. Uh, and, and it was announced. But we were also nominated for Best Picture. Best Full Length Picture. All right. Well, th- but that's the one we didn't know. Yeah. And we're up against that fucking everything, everywhere, all the time that has literally been nominated for over 400 awards and won 276. I looked this up. Oh, wow. Because I was going to originally do the uh, acceptance speech, like a a stop bullying PSA and direct it at them. (laughs) Hey, Asian, Asian American film. Stop bullying my small picture. You already fucking won Academy Awards, Golden Globes, and now you're in my little fucking tiny 
Only fucking hill I can plant a flag in, you fucking asshole. Stop bullying. Pull out of this picture. And I thought we were obviously not going to win. But then we won. Last year, the I believe it was Best Director and Best Actor were the same, but did not win Best Picture. So I'm all, well, this, is a, you know, that, that, this isn't a very common, but even if it, it gets that far, they still don't get Best Picture. I mean, there's no way to judge it. I'm just trying to kind of soothe. I what didn't even know. Happen. Evidently, we have access to this, which I guess I did know, but I didn't want to watch it. Maybe because we don't have a house still. We'll access about to what? that To watch this movie. Which movie? The one that you just. The had. Road Dog. Yeah. Okay. The Road Dog. The Road Dog movie.com. Well, no one told us that. Well, I. I mean, I, I didn't want. I wanted to see it the, with you. Yeah, and then when we were going to this, I'm like, well, that's second place yeah, is Ch- that going Ch- to watch it? Ch- in a- Chaley and I were like, oh, uh, bingo! She says she wants because you had to sit through the whole awards ceremony before the only showing of my movie, which was right after yeah. that. Well, it was and about go, an hour and a half, uh, and we're like, bingo! This is going to be drunk, and you go, oh, you know what? Let's just go back to the hotel and we'll watch it in the fun house, and she'll she'll be fine with that. But she didn't drink. So you had to go watch. She it. really, she really represented well, and she was as as uh, dynamic as she is in those situations. There was a huge line to get in front of the step and repeat, so someone would take pictures and everything. And uh, she got in there and represented you for for when the cast and the crew all got in there. So it was, it was good. But I yeah. mean, she, I think she felt the pressure as well that you know we're here representing Doug. Don't <laughs> don't fuck up. So. Yeah, she called me and uh, she said, "Oh, well, I screwed up. <laughs> I had just you know, got done with a gig, and all right, what happened? Oh, I screwed up because I went up and I was only going to say four words. This is my best friend, and then, but I thought I was going to go up after you were up, but you haven't been up yet, and so I said this, and then I said this, and they got confused, and she just gives me yeah. every." Un, you know, I, I can't figure out what she's saying, detail, and I have no idea what you mean. And then she goes on another tangent, and I go, <laughs> that's my flight crew. Uh, uh, sorry, that's my, my flight crew. I go, uh, they're staying at the same hotel. I go, I'll be over there, but uh, I, I got you guys. Uh, uh, I hooked you up at the bar. So I went and told Mickey and Rex at the bar. They're coming down. Hook up my flight crew. Anyway. Uh, Bingo. And at some point I go, um, but what about, uh, so who won best picture? And she goes, oh, yeah, that was your your, your movie. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> you just spent this like 15 <laughs> minutes song and dance about how your fucking pants weren't fitting right and shit when you went up there. And I hope I didn't look stupid. And I, I tried to say a thing and then I said another thing. And. Well, they they had questions for her. They kind of riffed with her a little bit, and I think that threw her off because she thought she was just going to go up and say four words and then grab a thing and then leave. So, <laughs> Who hosted it? It's it two dudes, uh, one older guy that was in – seemed kind of rooted in the film industry, and then another guy who knew a lot. They both were very knowledgeable, and they're uh, one of the older guy was actually, actually producing and um, – producing his own independent film now. So I mean they, they all had connections and they were they were they were funny and uh engaging and it went it went rather quick. It wasn't one of those things where it's like Jesus, there was no one to play him off, you know, if, if it went long. No, no, everyone was very respectful and it was good. So all right. Bingo went up and she didn't know she was gonna go up and then it's like, well shouldn't Doug his video go first? It's like well, I didn't well hang on Brian Hennigan was supposed to be there. Yeah. And I was in very sporadic communication from Australia with Hennigan. Yeah. And he, but he did say, oh, well, yeah, no, I'm driving in. And then I, I didn't realize, oh, because fucking LA was in a fucking snowstorm. Snowpocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. So he, so he had to bail out, which is good because he would have been stuck. And then, so we didn't know what was happening, but they said, Bingo, you're, you're going to go up and accept for Doug. And she's like, Oh, do I have to talk? And it's like, So she, you know, now <laughs> kill she's, just kill she's, <laughs> she's stewing on how, what she's going to say. And then I go, Now, do you want to go for this? Let, let me know what you're going to say. She goes, I got it. Four words, four words, which I, I don't even know what those were. My best be. friend. What? <laughs> my best friend is three. My, that's my best friend. Okay. 
she never said it, but she yeah. said she was confident. I go, as long as you're confident, that's fine. And then when they were going to do Best Actor, they made a, a big thing about, okay, here we're going to do Best Actor. There were three left, Best Actor, Best Director, and then Best Picture. And then, and then it was over, right? And Bingo was going to go up and say something, but we didn't know when. And I thought in my head, well, they'll have Doug do the acceptance speech first, and then Bingo will go – that's my best friend, yeah. and then take it, which she thought that out perfectly. That, that would That's make sense. That's not the way yeah. it went. They they brought her up, and she goes, that's my best friend. <laughs> They're like, who? <laughs> They're like, wait, oh, so it's not your husband? And she's like, yeah, that's my uh, my husband. It's like, wait a minute, who are you? He's your friend? It's like, no. And then somehow it yeah, came she up. Said, well, she goes, I'm fucking I, him, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, not fucking, fucking him. him. And it was weird because she cussed more in her <laughs> small acceptance speech than you did in your big one. But then after that, they rolled it and then, and then they, they then it happened. But what was very but interesting, I gave away, you gave away best director, which I'm like, well, then why wouldn't they just give away best director before the best actor and then best picture? To, well, they already announced it I on their they website. Announced it, but they but they still give the award there and everything. I thought they should just mix it. Then they then I talked to the guy after I had notes, and uh, I said, well, "Why why didn't you just switch it?" And he goes, "We just figured we'd just do them both at the same time at the end because after Doug did his speech, and which that guy said that made that made the presentation was your was your acceptance speech." And then they brought both director and best picture up at the same time. And then the whole cast went up there. People took pictures. Other people were filming. And I didn't do any of that. But uh, Yeah, Brisbane, uh, if there's a good takeaway from that <laughs> fucking Ratso Rizzo fucking cough mania show <laughs> that I was doing there, just trying to get through any bits without wheezing and dying, well, you guys did the uh, – when I go, hey, do you guys want to be part of this? I got a film and acceptance speech. I don't have it, but I'm, we're going to riff it. And they were, thank you. You guys killed at the uh, horrif, 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 the Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival, H-R-I-F-F, horrif. And there should be pictures up there. If there are, I'll put them in the, um, in the well, I'll put them up on the screen or whatever. But um, yeah, it was, and then after that, you know, everyone was just elated that, that you know, they took the top three, what we consider the top three, I guess. Michael Bean, because uh, I gave him shit because he turned down that part at the last minute that he put himself up for. Uh, Fitzsimmons part. Fitzsimmons crushed. Uh, I remember that day in the basement, yeah. and he was the, he was talking the whole time. You and uh, and um, uh, David had small like uh, affirmations or something. Like, oh, yeah, oh yeah, that was a good time. And Fitzsimmons just killed it. It was so good. Uh, and seeing it, you know, yeah. seeing it. Um, Bingo and I have a, a deal that we're not going to talk to anyone about the overall of the picture, like details, um, until they've seen it. Because we were um, we were taken aback a couple of times. Well, if we it was, uh, it was pretty good. Hang on, we are we got uh, we got ads. I guess can if you want. Well, oh, not this time, but yeah, those are, oh, right. those are from a, 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 the before you left. They sent those. Yeah, I did. I uh, did. Uh, did a couple podcasts over there where they had one of them had Manscape for. I go use promo code Stanhope. Yeah, steal their promo code. Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll when we get a new fucking fun house or a real house, we'll talk about that at the bar. Uh, then yeah, we'll do a fucking Bisbee showing. I yeah we. we oh, that's. I, not I still don't list. know what's going on because. They, I, I was talking to you, Swain, and I said, I, I don't like to not have answers when people ask on Patreon and stuff when they message me about what's going on. So I just tell them that you're still submitting to festivals. Yeah, he but goes, I was a privately. Oh, I know. I know. But yeah, Shawnee and Gretchen. And yeah, them. yeah. And I said, well, when it becomes available, I think we would love to have a showing at the Royale or something yeah. out there. And they're like, yeah. And, and they are submitting to more festivals. And I think – Winning these these awards will probably help uh, entry into uh, more festivals. Michael Bean, like guys, like I, trying to rub it in his face. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh and uh, that uh, best actor thing. Yeah, also won best picture. I was really fucking excited, yeah, yeah. and I know it's. Uh, he's like, well, uh, more people should know about it. Well, first of all, that's the festival's problem. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, I yeah, I would love it if you Google Doug Stanhope best actor, and that was the first thing. If you. <laughs> 
There's if you put in a Hollywood film festival, other film festivals come up that yeah. are not the Hollywood real independent film festival, and that's there. You know what Hollywood real independent film festival? If you go into your junk folder, there's a million things. They go, hey, we want to make you number one on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should click on that fucking fish bait. <laughs> You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. I'm yakky. You know how Becker would get when he'd he'd come from Anchorage after fucking 18 hours and two... Yeah, I'm like full of a million things. So here's here's uh, your certificate. Oh, I just wish I had a wall to put it on. (laughs) And best actor. All right, that's face the right way. Yeah, I checked it. Yes, that's uh, just a little bit smaller than my Delta Million Mile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, the, the, uh, Hennigan sent me a picture. Uh, anyway, it's glass. I, it, 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 I have things that go with it. Yep. Uh, Hennigan sent me a picture of the... The money guy, Daddy Warbucks, yeah. uh, was holding, and he's like eight feet tall and eight hundred pounds, and so he's got fingers this big, and it's just a picture <laughs> of the Best Picture Award, yeah. and he's holding it. I'm like, that's gonna be this big? Just oh, oh, it's Cameron's holding it. Yeah. That's why he's got giant fucking sausage schnitzel fingers. Well, we were very happy to, to represent represent you there, and we're stoked that we could actually see it because it is something different when you when you when you're in the room and you see what's going on. It's much different than getting a phone call about you know yeah no, no, what, I, what may or may not have happened. Where are you going? I'm just uh, refreshing my drink. Oh, yeah, it did. It sucked to miss it, uh, but I did. I thought. Um, I would have probably showboated a lot and then hated myself in the morning. <laughs> For showboating? Yeah. <laughs> I would have probably... Because here's the thing. It's not my fucking bring crowd. The, bring it's the vodka my, over here. It's not my crowd. That's what I said to them before we started filming when I taped the acceptance yeah. speech. I go, you know what? I hate that I'm missing it, but at the same time, that's a bunch of fucking movie people. That That's the reason I left L.A. Yeah. I just have I would have treated them like they're my crowd. You're my crowd. Do you mind filming this? And they were fucking. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, they were bunches of hunches. Uh, yeah, did you go to the after party at all? No, we went to the movie. And then after the movie, we it was still pouring, pouring buckets. And we were only two blocks away. So I said, uh, I asked Bingo what she wanted to do. And uh, we just went back to the hotel bar, which the hotel was great. And uh, we sat there and had a drink and hung out. It was great. Yeah, uh, yeah, she she did have fun. Yeah, we had a good time. She was, yeah, she was laughing pretty hard. I mean, she was she was happy that she was a part of it. I think she really liked seeing everything, like how it all went down and everything like that. And we were just happy. We did we just didn't want to go to another thing where we don't yeah. know anyone. And yeah, I don't I don't yeah. know if anyone else went like the, the producer director maybe. But I mean that they're all there. They're Shake Hollywood hands. people. Yeah. I, yeah, you know? I don't think Christine. I go Christine's. No, probably- she cut out early because I think she had some flooding at the uh, at the oh, house yeah. because of what was going on. But it was it was interesting because well we'll talk about that once you see the movie. So I I don't know that I have. I, I think we could leave this one fucking short. Yeah, that's fine. Go down get some uh, happy hour at the uh, at the hotel uh, a transient station. Uh, what do you call that? I just read a book about. I'm, uh, yeah, I want to. I have way too much information and not enough focus. Books I read. Well, you got a month off. No, not much. Yeah, no. I, I was like, oh, I have plenty to talk about on the podcast, and then I sat down and I go, I got too much to talk about on the podcast. Well, you're home for a while. We've got plenty to talk about regarding the house and some other stuff too. So yeah. Yeah. Welcome home. Hey, Australia. Thank you very much. Uh, fucking Perth, Canberra. Outstanding. Perth, I've always known. But this hotel in Canberra, oh, my God. If you have that room 602 at the airport, looking over at the top, 601 would be better. And I know Wait, this that. was an airport hotel. Yeah, airport All hotel. Right. 
I don't know if we tweeted the thing. It's just it's this Kubrick-like hotel. Anyway, it, it's like just looking out because at the end of summer, it's like having a very cool, weird hotel overlooking Wyoming, mm. Montana at the end of summer, and uh, not a city part. Like, oh, that's great. Yeah, that's uh, kind of like when we stayed at the Vancouver airport. It's kind of out on the outskirts. Yeah, that's it. Airport Although there was a too. casino there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's not like this at all. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, sitting through my whooping cough. Fucking Val Kilmer from Tombstone doing <laughs> open mic all the way until I was fucking healthy. And I think Melbourne was the only time I actually felt like I wasn't losing my mind. And I still felt like I was losing my mind a bit. So there's still tickets available for uh, um, the second night in Seattle. There's a all few right. left um, that until they're gone. Ah, shit, I got to call a- Betty. Someone out there, remind me to call Betty Lindstrom. <laughs> she wanted tickets and it's so, I don't know. I'm not dealing with fucking phone calls and text messages from Australia. AT&T, my fucking phone, I want to give them shit. Like, I couldn't even call anyone and no one could call me. For what? Yeah, I had to I use talk to you WhatsApp. All the time. WhatsApp, yeah, it's way better. Yeah, but I'm saying you couldn't. My phone wouldn't work and oh. people couldn't call me. I had to give my tour manager my other phone, which I could call my two U.S. phones if he had my other phone. And then that stopped working. And then, but he couldn't WhatsApp me at first till all of a sudden when our phones didn't work, he could WhatsApp. And it's just fuck ATT, fuck a lot of people, but not tonight. I'm in a good mood. I just traveled 30 something hours home. And uh, Canada dates are all up. All the dates oh, are solid and now. Fucking, I. <laughs> the the packing thrift store shit worked beautifully. This. We were, we were ending. I knew there was more. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. That's the backpack. After three weeks on the motherfucking road, I packed all thrift store shit, dollar stuff, most of it. Fucking or just uh, throwaways, right? Yeah, throwaway. And uh, Ross dress for less clearance socks. Oh, ten pairs for three dollars. And uh, fucking underpants. I even uh, I ditched some stage mans over there. The 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 polyester yeah. ones. I like the cotton ones. The polyester ones make your balls feel a lot sweatier than they should. So I, I, I dumped a couple of pairs of those. I think those are more for uh, more active wear. You're not active. No, I'm not. But uh, the it, cotton does, ones, is activity, cotton. like, does that uh, is that uh, aggregate, like, over a course of time? Like, okay, I didn't run a bunch of stairs, but if I wore the same pair for a week, does the activity build up? Well, yeah, it feels like it on your balls. So, I, yeah, I... Brought a thrift store bag, a $5 roller bag with a bunch of fucking dollar clothes, and then slowly threw it away till the end, and then came back came with, home just, with a backpack. just a backpack right off the plane. I'll give you some queer looks when yeah. you're going through uh, through customs coming back. Oh, I've, I see this show all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get the fuck okay, out of here. Okay, C- Canada, Canada, Canada. Canada. We got yeah. stuff going for, uh, we got all the all the dates all are up the now. All the cool places. All the dates are up there. Uh, we'll, we'll Do be- you mean London? No, <laughs> no, not London. That's not, uh, what, what about Ottawa? No, I love, I love your team, your hockey team, but no. No, Montreal, Toronto, is that really cool? No, that's the fucking money gig, but I love the Danforth. And then yeah. uh, Winnipeg, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver. Yeah, I know where I'm going in fucking Canada. Yep. Yeah, and I, I hope you can make it summer there, and that way you can compete with <laughs> Australia. I want it to be summer and desert, and that way you could probably compete with – we had big discussions about, okay, Canada, Australia, equally cool, but which city is which? S- S- Sydney is – Melbourne. I mean, uh, Melbourne is Toronto. All right. Sydney's kind of cooler than Melbourne because Melbourne so thinks what it's would, too cool. What would Sydney be? Uh, uh, Perth is Vancouver. Like, as far as cool goes, this is a dumb conversation. Email me. Yeah, put it out as a Twitter poll. I got to take a shit and go down and talk to the fucking flight crew. <laughs> All right. Fucking... Eight more gigs, and then there's going to be big changes in this motherfucker. Eight? Yeah. Well, nine. I don't know. Fucking, I'm doing Washington. All right. I'm doing Seattle and Canada. And look at my schedule after that. Nada. Not a fucking thing. 
<laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, bye-bye now.